I never dreamed that there'd come a day where I'd find myself far from your arms. Now that I am, I can hardly stand not to be near your sweet southern charms. Happy Thanksgiving! I hope you're having fun with Mia since I remember you said that the man is in California for Thanksgiving. Don't you love this postcard? It was actually the reason I started writing these. I wanted to send this one to you but decided to wait. As you can tell, this is another homemade card. This one is interactive though. You can cut along the dotted lines with an X-Acto knife, then put some tissue paper behind it and put it in front of a light. Fun, right? Happy Halloween! I'm writing this probably before you've gotten my postcard, but I wanted to write a Halloween one with a photo of Marie. I probably will only send them every two weeks or so, just because I'm not sure I can write out each week. October 26 was when the first letter from my friend came, where he said that while cleaning out his desk, he found a bunch of old postcards. I decided to send them to you to be your peach from Georgia, but in this case, ducks from Davis. However, I realized that since these photos are from 1985, these ducks are long dead. This gesture completely surprised me, and I felt wrong for this to go unreciprocated. I was inspired by this adventure he set out for us both, and I wanted to see what I could do for him. Guggenheim, Albert Salami, Giggly Jumpy Tom Thomas Tambourine, Leg Face McCullen, Artichoke, Penguin Pete Steve, but I think the very worst name for this frog is... Wait, wait a second. Uh... Craig. Where are we? In the woods? I mean... Released November 3rd, 2015. Over the garden wall is a series about two brothers, Bort and Craig, lost in a mysterious forest with no recollection of how they got there. As they look for a way home, they explore their strange surroundings and find themselves in a place of lost stories and wonder. For only... Do you hear that? Yeah. Do you think it's some kind of deranged lunatic with an axe waiting out there in the darkness for innocent victims? Greg! Greg! Uh. My friend showed me this series last year, and every October we've watched it together, however possible. It's a story that offers anything but explanations as to what is happening, and it begs to be returned to. Cards have been around for thousands of years, and their design has bounced between several countries and cultures. Every deck tells a story of royalty, power, luck, and strategy. But this time I want to tell a story of two kids, lost in the woods, with a desire to find a destination to their journey. I never dreamed that there'd come a day When I'd find myself far from your arms Now that I am, I can hardly stand Not to be near your sweet southern charms Send me a peach from old Georgia Down where the savannah flows If I could have one bite of Georgia I would feel right here at home I miss the shady old lanes there Walking with you by my side Just send me one peach from Georgia Just so I know you'll be mine I hope that you won't forget me Before my road leads back to you Though the winter may bring the whole world to its knees the spring shall return with its fruit the wind here is ready for winter it seems to turn everything blue so 
just send me, send me, send me one little peach, just a sweet, sweet. sunny peach. I hope that you won't forget me before my road leads back to you. Though the winter may bring the whole world to its knees, the spring will return with its fruit. Things are different since last year's October, and I don't know how I feel about their continuous change. Hi Daniel, happy winter. These past few postcards have made my end of year, and I'm so honored to be your peach from Georgia. They make me feel right here at home and remind me of the sweet southern charm of good old Davis. Fears seek undivided attention, and when the night is calm and the world is quiet, they like to ask their questions. What if something happens to me? What if something's wrong? What if I never see him again? Card decks also hold a fascinating charm to them too, and their numbers align so perfectly with the calendar. 52 cards, 13 per suit, and 4 suits. 52 weeks per year, 13 weeks per season, and 4 seasons. Amazing, right? Over the Garden Wall also works poetically well with the card deck, whose 10 chapters align perfectly with the 9 numbers and aces on the deck. The opportunity was too good to pass up, so I'm excited to subject you to my newest impulse project. In honor of Over the Garden Wall's release date, starting today and continuing every Monday this year, you'll get a poker card designed after the show. It will be going in reverse order of a new deck, which is Ace to King Hearts, Ace to King Clubs, King to Ace Diamonds, and King to Ace Spades. Cards are an unsolvable equation of how luck, strategy, fate, and chance contribute to a winning hand. What responsibility can we claim of our futures? How much control do our choices really have? I feel the happiest I've been in a while, and I'm scared when and how this will change. Another year, another trip into the unknown. Our journeys have taken us down two different paths, but what truly really matters to me is that we continue walking them together. I will never know what next year will bring for us, but I choose to believe it's worth waiting for. I miss Davis, and I miss you every day. I hope these cards give us both a little something to look forward to as the year passes, and that within this time, we can enjoy as much of it as possible. I miss the shady old lanes there, walking with you by my side. I'll send you one peach from Georgia, just so I know you'll be mine. <laughs>